Good morning. We are getting ready to fly to Miami. Emirate. Buddy. Good morning. Bubs. We're gonna go on an airplane. Emirate, let's wake up. Nope. I knew I forgot something. My rings and my earrings. I guess I can take mine off too. Go for it. <laughs> it's okay, babe. You can buy me something in Miami. We can buy some cheap. <laughs> Ticket, please. <laughs> you did it. Uh, do we need to put a thing on this? Oh, yes. Yeah, we do actually. Mom, that's our Yeah, that's our airplane. If you need assistance, please let us know. Larger carry on luggage goes in the Please refer to your safety card or ask any price. All larger electronic devices are put away. Hello, we are here at the pool house. Let's go check it out. It's just kind of like a big old open, uh, open concept. They converted the garage into play area. And then we have another garage that's converted into a theater. We are definitely gonna use this area. Everybody's asking, show us the master. Let's go check it out. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Whew. It's quite a workout to get up these stairs. And here's the master. Whoa! <laughs> Obviously, there's going to be a patio. A private pa patio that looks out to the pool area. There's the beautiful pool. i got to say the backyard is spectacular here. What do we think? Can you relax here? Yeah, definitely. But there is even more. How much better can it get? <gasps> there is a playground. Yeah, oh. <gasps> That's correct, yeah. You wanna try it? <laughs> So to be honest with you guys, it is a, this property is a little older, it's rough around the edges, but overall, kids are going to have a lots, lots of fun over here. Hey. Hello guys. Hey. How we doing? Are doing the house tour? I already did it. We just did some hey. grocery. Grocery. Just ordered some drinks, like we're snacked for the house. Yeah. Such a nice backyard. The kids are in the pool, hanging out in the hot tub. Elodie's hanging out with Grandma. Grandma and Grandpa are here. We're all so excited. Yay! Let's go find Andre. Go, go hang out outside. Come on, Andre! Look, look, look! Yeah, that's amazing. It's so nice. So, this is our first night here, and all the guys went out uh, for dinner. My dad went, uh, Andre, um, basically all the guys that are here at the house. And then all the girls stayed behind. All the kids are at the pool still, because the water is just, it's all, honestly like a hot tub, the whole pool is. Cause like I said, it's been 90 all day today and it's been warm this entire week. Just hanging out, relaxing. I think we're all gonna have a really early, early night, but it's been really nice. So nice. So going into Friday, this was mostly the day of just hanging out by the pool, 
for pretty much everybody. That's what I did. It was just so much fun. You ready to go swimming with mama? Let's go. You guys enjoying yourselves? Yeah. So awesome. yummy. And then after like the pool day, we decided, you know what? Well, the guys said, hey, you girls should just go out, have a great time. We're gonna stay back home. That's exactly what we did. All the girls that stayed at the house, we went out, my nieces came along with us and we went to this new restaurant also in Miami, Consentito, I believe is the place. The food was delicious, we ate everything the whole vibe was so fun they had a live i think the girl she i think it was a saxophone she was playing and she was just walking around the entire restaurant the environment was really cool we sat it was on the by the water so it was a really really great time we had so much fun <laughs> So moving on to Saturday morning, we got tickets for qualifying to see where every driver is going to position for the starting grid. The Ferrari wiped out and it messed up the it messed up the top ten drivers pretty much. Yeah, ruined so, it for everybody, but not yeah. really. It was it was really no, cool. No, they, they really did because everybody that was really good they were not in the front anymore. They were all like in the back because they didn't get a chance to yeah. put a good time in. It made it very interesting. Let's just put it that way. And I will say the organization, the grounds, they were in Hard Rock Cafe Stadium at the racetrack. And for qualifying, we had seats in the B section, which is really close to the start finish line, but it was turn one. Basically starting the finish section where they start and then end the race. And then that very first turn, all the emotion, all the intensity, it was so cool. I will say Saturday was so hot. We went down to get, grab some food before qualifying began, but we found this food stand where they did like turkey legs, burgers, sausages. And as we're standing in line, we go up to purchase our food, Andre pays. And then all of a sudden he goes, babe, I think I'm blacking out. I'm, I'm gonna black out, I'm, gonna, I, I'm seeing things. I can't, I need to sit down. And right there, while we're checking out, he puts his card down, his phone down, and he just starts sitting down very slowly. And I'm thinking he's literally passing out because I look at him and he's completely white. I was so nervous. I'm getting goosebumps now. Everybody around us is just watching this play out in front of me as he's literally falling down to the floor slowly in like slow motion, trying not to pass out. I wasn't passing out. It was just, it was just, I got just so hot and I was like, okay, I need to sit down before I, you know. I'm just saying, you were, you were not able to move forward. You said you were blocking out. So we're like, all right, we're gonna sit down right here, <laughs> back up the line even yeah. more. <laughs> I just sat down, I needed, I needed like, I needed ice on me. But yes, going forward, there were so many awesome features for the race. I really appreciated that they had a water filling station. So you buy a water bottle and then you just refill it as many times as you need for like throughout the day. So I thought that was really neat. So that, night coming home after qualifying you reserved <laughs> a restaurant a oh, two-star michelin restaurant on saturday yeah. night after qualifying yeah we decided you know i'm like you know what we're gonna try the best restaurant miami has so the experience was really interesting they brought out all the dishes how many dishes was it was a seven total with like the appetizer the main yeah it was and like then seven plus they gave us for grass so it was eight plus the bread this was my first experience ever with the michelin star restaurant the food was good i enjoyed every single thing it was a good experience because of the people that came with us all the conversations that we were having but the experience from the restaurant itself i was waiting to be wowed by like bringing me the plates. And you wanted a show. I did want a show. You for the amount them. you're paying, yeah, you better get a show. <laughs> yeah, I reserve my opinion for now. Oh, okay. I wanna, I wanna see, you know, what other Michelin star restaurants offer. So, Cause I, I don't really know where the standard's supposed to be. Cause this was also your first Michelin. Yeah. Yeah. So Sunday morning comes around and we, we're getting ready for the main event, the main race. I feel like you have to kind of get, get yourself prepared mentally because you're gonna be doing a lot of walking. And the weather, Sunday. Really good. Superb. We got there early. 
and before when you get there early there's quite a bit that happens before the actual race they had the porsche final race uh, and then they had the parade for all of the drivers yeah. that was really fun to see kind of uh, give them a lot of the acknowledgement you know like this is who is racing and because this is miami and there's just so many stars over there celebrities celebrities we saw like everybody from uh, tennis players to musicians Serena to actors. Williams, Venus Williams, Vin Diesel, Tom Cruise, Sha Ludacris, Sha Luda. Shakira. I mean, there was so many yeah. celebrities and it was so cool to see them up close because they were all like fanboying, fangirling over the cars just and talking to everybody and saying high five, talking to the drivers. It was like the coolest thing ever, but it was such a fun experience to see that before the race and then seeing the formulation lap where all the uh, Formula One cars, they're driving behind the safety car to kind of warm up and then they go to their position and then you, you, you just see the red lights, bam, bam, go. The, the sound of it, like 20 cars. Just, so just much. revving it up off the line. Field. That's the second closest wow. field in Formula One history. favorite driver this season is Alonso, Fernando Alonso. He's yeah. incredible. He's doing such a great job. But it was amazing to see Max Verstappen go from P9 to P1. I'm personally a fan of Max Verstappen. I yeah. enjoy the way he he's drives. Great. He's just good at what he does. Watching the races, very impressed with Lewis, Lewis Hamilton going to P6. I mean, all the drivers are great. I mean, it's Formula One. Overall, the experience, would I do it again? Andre asked me so many times. I'm like, yes, which race are we going to next? It was a phenomenal weekend. We did fly back home on Sunday night after the race and Nashville was having pretty bad weather. It was like a thunderstorm, but I'm just thankful that it wasn't, it was barely any turbulence flying home. The kids both did really good and it was a great weekend. It was a fun recap to watch all those videos. All right, we're gonna end it here. Thank you for tagging along with us. Hope you guys enjoyed, well, my first visit to Formula One Miami Grand Prix and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yeah, see you.